I undertook the Koran Siddur project because prayer is the very heart of Jewish life. And we have a problem with it in our time. The rabbi said, Jewish life depends on three things, Torah, Avodah, and Gemilut Chasadim, Jewish learning, Jewish prayer, and Jewish acts of kindness. Now, Jewish learning has undergone an immense renaissance. There are more people learning today than perhaps ever before in history. Jewish Gemilut Chasadim, kindness, the welfare side of the Jewish community has always been strong and is strong today. But that middle section, avodah, prayer, the service of the heart, that has been a weakness. Um, people don't find the prayer service meaningful, engaging, something that speaks directly to the soul. And yet prayer has always been the motor, the driver of Jewish spiritual energies. So we need to make sure that prayer is strong if Jewish life is to stay strong. And I thought that probably meant a new translation, a new commentary, and, and a new study of what prayer actually is. The reason I wanted to work with current publishers is that they have really been the masters of the aesthetics of Jewish books, of the art of typography. The original Koran Tanakh, which used the first new typeface uh, to emerge from the land in the state of Israel, was one of the most beautiful Jewish books, printed books, that's ever been produced. And the Koran Siddur, in, uh, likewise, broke new ground. It sets out the prayers, many of the key prayers, as poems. And of course, Jewish prayer is poetry. So in typographical and aesthetic terms, Koran is as good as it gets. And for me, it was an immense privilege working with the people who have produced masterpieces like that. There are, are, are a number of things that make the Koran Siddur unique. Um, I hope my long introduction, introduction to Jewish prayer, um, breaks new ground in trying to understand what is the structure and the driving features of Jewish prayer. I mean, to me, that was the most creative of, of all the elements that I was directly involved in. The halacha section at the back is really uh, something very splendid and very detailed, and it's, it's a fine piece of work. There are things in the Koran Siddur that you won't necessarily find in any other Siddur or in ones with English translations like Yom HaZikaron, Yom HaAtzmaut, Yom Yerushalayim, these crucial days in modern Jewish history and the services that go with them. I think it'll probably be uh, a new feature to have in the Siddur a service for Zevid Habat, an order of service on the birth of a daughter. And uh, in various other ways, I think we've tried to put into this work things that you don't readily find in other Siddurim. My dream of what I would like the Koran Siddur to achieve is for people to really daven, <laughs> to feel that prayer is something that lifts you, that inspires you, that makes you see the world in a different sort of way. A Jewish prayer is so beautiful, it's so powerful. It's the distillation of thousands of years of Jewish aspiration and of, of, of the attempt of human beings to speak to God and also to let God speak to us. Prayer should leave us different from what we were before we began to pray. It should allow us to see a little more of the divine radiance in the world and a little more of what God wants from us. So if the Siddha leads to a little added inspiration, a fresh face of Jewish prayer, this extraordinary collective achievement of the Jewish people, I will feel very humbled because, after all, Jewish prayer is our connection with God, with Jewish destiny and with our hopes for the Jewish future.